Homework 1, problem 11.24. A package of Math M is released from rest at a warehouse loading dock and slides down the 5 meter frictionless ramp. Unfortunately, the truck driver went on break without having removed the previous package of Mass 2M from the bottom of the chute. So here it is, just a short little visual visualization. Mass M is at a height, 5 meters, and it's coming to this box that's two times its mass. So suppose the package sticks together, what is their common speed after the collision? So this is something first we get in a collision, so we know there's going to be we're going to use our conservation of momentum, but we want to find speed. So we're trying to find velocity. And I, I want to, I think it's good to note if when you try and work this out, you can't actually get it without finding the initial velocity of M first. So to find the velocity, you have to think about it. Well, it's starting at rest, so we can say it's, it has potential energy gravitational potential energy and at the end it will have kinetic energy and we can use the conservation of energy and to find out our velocity but since we know it's starting at rest so potential energy it's all potential energy there's no kinetic energy the initial kinetic energy just cancels out and at the end it's moving there's no right before it hit, the second before it hits the box there's no more potential energy it's just kinetic energy so we can set those equal to each other and we solve them out. We cross our m's out. Multiply by two, get the square root. We can find our velocity, our y. Remember, was five meters. It was five meters tall. And using this, we get nine point nine meters per second. But I think it's easy. You, okay, you out of velocity, so this is what you're you're done, right? This velocity, no, because we wanna. We're trying to find the speed after the collision of them sticking together, of this new system. But we had to find the velocity of the mass of this mass first because if we're starting from this and this, right, it'd both be zero to cancel out, so there would be no velocity. But remember, it's moving, so there will be, once they hit, there will be some velocity in this direction. So we'll use our conservation of momentum. And, right, and remember there's no... And the first one was at rest, so the 2m is canceled out. And then we can solve out. It's going to be 2m, or it's going to be m over, or it's, this is wrong. This should be m over 3m, which will equal one-third the velocity, which will be equal to the final, the velocity of the system. But that velocity of the 1 is 9.9. .9. So we end up getting 3.3 .3 meters per second is how fast they're moving after the collision. And then B, suppose the collision between the packages is perfectly elastic. To what height does the package of mass M rebound? So right, we're gonna start with right the velocity right when it hits the bottom, it's gonna hit that. And then the package, it's, it's not sticking together, it's gonna bounce back and go up the hill. And we wanna find how high it goes. So think about it, the box comes down, it comes the first, its initial velocity will be coming to hit it. Its initial velocity is at rest. And then finally, the velocity of both will be going in the opposite directions. They're not sticking together. So for elastic collisions, the equation is m minus 2m, or the mass of 1 minus the mass of 2 over the mass plus of 1 plus the mass of 2. And we know our masses are 2m, m minus 2m, m plus 2m times velocity 1 right here. Their initial velocities equals the final velocity of this, which, right, one third, it ends up being one third, 9.9, .9. you cancel out because m minus 2m would actually be negative one third, right? It's because it's going in the opposite direction. This is, we're working in vectors, so it would be working in the opposite direction. That's because that'd be, right, negative m over 3m, negative one third, times our velocity that we got in the last problem was 9.9 .9 of this box initially. So, it's still going to also be going 3.3, .3, actually be going negative 3.3. .3. But we can use the same uh, same rules from the first problem for co conservation of energy. But this time we're going to be doing we're going to be doing it opposite to where the initial because we're starting here and when the box hits the bottom, we're going to say there's no potential energy because it just it's it's all moving. The potential energy it's zero. The height is zero, so the potential energy would be zero. 
so initially the kinet there's a kinetic energy but then we want to find right when the box stops moving the type before it goes back down which we would know would be potential energy so there'd be no kinetic energy so this time instead of its potential equals kin final initial potential energy is equal to final kinetic energy we're switching it and so that's one half mass times velocity squared is equal to mass g gravity 9.8 times y which is the height the m so we'll cross out and we'll rearrange that to get one half 3.3 squared over g is equal to y which 5.445 over 9.8 which is equal 0.55 meters which is equal to 56 centimeters i think it's important to draw it graph so you understand when i first i got a, when i first did this i got a little confused because i was trying to start from the very beginning but it's remember it's good to find the system find where things are going find the direction in which things are going make sure you're drawing your diagrams vectors and remember we're using all our a lot of the problems we learn in the past can help us with the new stuff so it is hard sometimes to be learning to be doing lots of conservation momentum you see the collision so you just want to do momentum but sometimes it's hard to get to all the pieces you need but you can using other knowledge and that's why it's good to look at it from different perspectives